So Chris here at uh, Dirty Rooster Off-Road. We've got some new tires for the Razor. Um, Razor. Real, real quick, we're gonna go over some of the specs of the, uh, the wheels and the tire setup. These wheels have a different offset. You can see uh, we picked up these SDI HD bead locks from uh, Rocky Mountain. And uh, we've got it STI Roctane X2s on here in uh, 30 by 10 by 14. Um, so obviously 14 inch wheels. Uh, they're seven inches wide and uh, they're a four plus three setup. <clears throat> so the, uh, the offset on these, it's a little bit greater so it'll give us some more poke than the, uh, than the factory setup. And uh, once we get them all mounted, you'll see it, it severely changes the stance of the machine, makes it look a whole lot better. Um, so one of the things we want to do real quick is just weigh the tires and, uh, and let's see what the difference is. But you can definitely tell here from an offset standpoint, you see where the mounting surface is here. This is a, um, a six and a half plus one and, one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and this one obviously, the, uh, the mounting surface is set back much further, which uh, means this tire is going to be out from from the hub more than uh, poke 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 <clears throat> more than the other ones. These stock bad boys. So first, I'm going to weigh these. This is the rear. Um, these are 29 by 11 by 14 stock um, big horns. They've got about 300 hours on them. So. There's a little bit of material maybe missing. So we can see there, these are about 44 pounds, 44 and a half. A little fluctuation there. <clears throat> On the stocks, and these bad boys, I don't know, Josh, you want to take a guess <laughs> how much uh, these are going to weigh? I'd say like 55. 55? 55. What do yeah, you think? I'm thinking 60. 60 pounds. They are chunky. They're heavy. Look at that. 60.5. 60 pounds. Yeah, so uh, significantly uh, heavier tire. This is a 30 by 10 by 14. And obviously, I, I would say the bead lock's got to be adding some weight to it. Um, so a little bit more for the machine to push around, for sure. But they're gonna give us a better stance and uh, they're gonna give us some more ground clearance. So we'll see how they look when they go on. Let her rip. Let her rip to the wood block because we don't have a high lift jack. You're gonna go get one though. I'm gonna go get one from my favorite folks at Harper Freight. <laughs> Yes, they are. And you can see the difference here between the OEM lug bolts or lug nuts and these new lug nuts. OEM and the new ones. So they're uh, really narrow and, uh, and tapered definitely on this spline end, which is why you need the special socket or it would not fit in these tiny holes. But overall, pretty nice looking setup. All right, looks like we're finally there. Use this. This is gonna be like the ultimate Spectre gadget setup, look at that. <laughs> that is quite the setup. So we've got 
one of these torque limiting extensions that we got from uh, Home Depot. And then what is that? What millimeter socket is that? Is that a 17? A 19. That's a 19. Same as the stock lugs. Stock lugs are 19 millimeter. on these bad boys. Got some nice uh, sidewall blocks to help dig you out of holes or dig you out of the rocks. Obviously these are called rock tains. Um, so you'd think that they were focused more toward um, rocks, but uh, they claim that they're great in the woods and we're here on the east coast so that's what we're looking for mud and roots and hard pack and rocks you know we kind of see it all here not a whole lot of sand um, but we have high hopes for these tires in our conditions so there she be with the big meats, bounce that bad bad boy a little bit. Pretty excellent. You can see, um, if you look back in here at the calipers and stuff, this offset actually does expose those calipers and your CV joints just a little bit more um, than the stock setup. Yeah, so uh, stock front is 5.4 plus 0.6 and like we said before these are 4 plus 3 so you're gaining right around two and a half inches more poke and that's just wheel so we're gonna have to give you an overall measurement once we're done here um, but obviously quite a bit wider Dude, so we just went and did some hoonage in the backyard, fresh on the new tires. And I can already tell um, the grip on these things is just so much better than the original ones. Um, it just, it feels like you're glued in the seat. Um, obviously, they're still gonna spin a little bit, but they hook up much better than the big ones so far. Yeah. Um, we'll spend some more time on them, get you a better review. All right, folks, Chris here from Dirty Rooster Off-Road. Uh, we finished up a good day of mods here in the garage. Got some wheels on, um, got a cargo box on, and uh, we even got a new exhaust. Uh, we'll have a video coming out for that here uh, shortly. First up, you'll see the tire install that we did. Um, we're gonna do some testing with those tires. So Roctane X2s, that's what this video is all about. And uh, then in the next week or so, we'll try to get this new exhaust video edited and out on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're just starting up. It's, uh, you know, my son and I, we've been doing this stuff uh, since we were in our single digits, not side by sides, but dirt bikes, four wheelers, so on and so forth. And we love it. Um, we plan on doing a whole lot more. So make sure to hit like and uh, subscribe and we'll keep the content coming. Thanks.